Welcome to the Island of Pod Pie, a series of fun adventures to learn electronics and JavaScript programming. Hi, I'm Stefan. I'm the creator of Pod Pie. In this video, I want to show you how to get ready for the adventures by installing Node.js and the Johnny 5 library on your PC running Windows 10. If you have a lower version of Windows, don't worry, these steps should still work the same way. So really quick, Node.js is an open source JavaScript engine that will run all your JavaScript programs for the lessons and challenges on the island. And Johnny 5 is an open source library that will translate all your JavaScript code into commands that were sent to your Arduino board directly. So let's get started. First, if you need more information or want to see those detailed steps, head to podpy.com, click support, and then click on PC Windows, and you will have all the detailed steps on how to get your computer ready and also a few more pieces of information. So Node.js, let's start with that. So first, you can click here or go to nodejs.org and download Node.js. In this particular case, for Windows, you would just click Windows Installer and it will download this file. I've already pre-downloaded the file so that we don't have to wait for it. So if you go into your download directory, you will find this file called Node and version 447. If you have another version, it should be okay. If you can download this same version, that would be probably better. So let's double click on Node and we'll go to install it. It will ask, it will take you through a few steps. So you said next for the wizard. We're going to accept the terms of the license. You can take the default path or provide a different path if you want. So I was like to I always like to use the same same default. We do next and let's install it. That should only take a few seconds. Node.js is very fast at installing. Again, Node.js will be the server side of your JavaScript programs. So on the island of PodPy, all the code will be done in JavaScript. You will execute those JavaScript commands, and they will be sending the code necessary to the Arduino to execute the, your programs. Okay, finish. So now Node.js is installed on your computer. So how can we go test? Just make sure Node.js is installed correctly. So we we'll go here. So this is how we're going to check. We're going to make sure that we have a proper version installed. So the best way to do this is search on your Windows find a common command prompt C O M that should bring you this command prompt you click on it and now here you have your command prompt open so let's check for node so we type node space dash dash version and we'll press enter there you have a 4.4.7 that shows us that node.js is installed and ready to run. Now what we're missing is a library that will call Johnny5 that is the interface between your computer and the Arduino board. Mm -hmm. And we'll need that in order for Node.js to send all the commands. So how do we install this? So npm, this stands for Node Package Manager, install Johnny-5. Make sure you're connected to uh, the internet when you're doing this, this particular step. It will download the library automatically in the background and install everything. There you go. Success. So if you have this particular message, it shows you all the modules that are being installed with the Node Package Manager. And now, Node.js is installed and Johnny5 is installed. I'm going to make another video to show you how to install Arduino and then a third video to show you how to get started with your first lesson. That is it for this one. Thank you for following.